Namaskar students. Today we will continue with our chapter number eight, multiples and factors, exercise eight A, part three, page number fifty-seven, fifty-eight of our junior maths book four. So all of you take out your junior maths book four and open at page number fifty-seven and then fifty-eight. Today we will learn odd and even numbers. You see that I have written the numbers that are divisible by two. That means there will be no remainder. Are even numbers. Zero, two, four, six, eight. These five. Are the one-digit even numbers. These you have to remember. These five numbers. Second thing, even numbers end with an even digit in ones place. Ones place means last number. So in an even number, if it is more than one digit, so last. Dg will be either zero or two or four or six or eight. Here you can see, for example, I have written ten. You can see that one's place it is zero, zero. Then forty-two, one's place it is two, even digit. Then one hundred and eight, eight, one's place that is also an even digit. Seven thousand six hundred fifty-six, last digit that is one's place it is six. Six is also an even digit. Nine hundred and fourteen. Last digit. That means one's place. It is four. Four is also an even digit. So the numbers that are having even digits at one's place. That means the last digit are called even numbers. That that are zero or two or eight or six or fourteen. So you have to remember this five. One digit even numbers. Now, I'm rubbing the board. Now, odd numbers. The numbers that are not divisible, not divisible. This thing you have to remember. Not divisible by two. That means have. Remainder are called odd numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers are not divisible by two. What are the odd numbers that are not divisible by two? One digit odd numbers that are one. Three, five, seven, and nine. These are the one-digit odd numbers. One-digit odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. These also you have to remember. Then, before we learn that. Even numbers end with an even digit, and odd numbers end with an odd digit. Odd digit in ones place. Odd digit in ones place. For example. Eleven, thirteen, seventy-five, six thousand nine hundred and seven, five hundred forty-nine. Here you can see that first number is eleven. Clear? One space must be odd digit. One, one is the odd digit. Then 
13, ones place, it is 3, 3 is an odd digit. Then 75, ones place, last digit, that means 5, 5 is an odd digit. 6917, ones place, it is 7, 7 is also an odd digit. Okay, and then the last number here it is 549. Last one, that is one's place, it is 9. So, it is also, and 9 is also an odd digit. So, 11, 13, 75, 6917, 549. These all are odd numbers. Because all these numbers end with an odd digit. That is in one's place, these numbers are having odd digits digits. Clear? So, even numbers are completely divisible by 2 and odd numbers are not divisible by 2. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. These 5 are 1 digit even numbers and 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These are odd digits. One digit odd numbers. Clear? Yeah. Suppose now if you if you were said write the even numbers between forty and fifty. Between 40 and 50. That means you will not take 40 and 50. After 40, you will start after 40 and you will have to finish before 50. So, what are the even numbers between 40 and 50? Even numbers end with an even digit. So, 40 after 40 comes 41. 41 end with an odd digit. 1. We cannot take that. So, it will be 42. Then 2 is there. In one place, even digit. Then 43. 3 is an odd number. We will not take 3. Then 44. One place, it is 4, even digit. Then 45. 5 is there in one place. 5 is an odd number. We will not take that one. Then 46. 6 is an even digit. Then 47. 7 we will not take. It is not divisible by 2 and also as well as end with an odd digit. That is 7. We will take the next number. 48. 8 is an even digit. Okay. Now for 50. So, oh sorry, 49. 49 we can't take as the last digit at its one place it is 9 and 9 is an odd number. We cannot take 49 as an even number. Now, after 49 comes 50. So, we will not take 50 as I told you before. 40 and 50 we will not take after 40 and before 50. So, these are the four numbers. Four even numbers that comes between 40 and 50. Clear? As we well, same, write the odd numbers between 55 and 65. That means we will not take 55 and 65. After 55 we will start and we will have to finish before 65. So what are the odd numbers? Clear? Odd numbers are having 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Odd digits in one's place. After 55 comes as 56. 6 is an even digit. We cannot take 56. After 56 comes 57. 57 is 7. Last digit. That is one's place. It is an odd digit. So 57 is an odd number. Then 58. Last digit is 8. It is even digit. We cannot take. Then comes 59. Last digit is 9. That is an odd digit. So we will take 59. After 59 comes 60. Last digit is 0. That is even digit. We cannot take 60. After 60 comes 61. 1 is an odd digit. 1's place. 
last digit. So we will take 61, then 62, last digit is 2 in one place, even number, we will not take. We will take up to 62, 63, 3 is an odd digit in one place. So 63 is an odd number. After 63 comes 64. Last digit is 4. That is an even digit in one place. We cannot take 64. After 4, after 64 comes 65. We can't take 65. I told before 65 we have to finish. So between 55 and 65 these are the four numbers. 57, 59, 61 and 63. These are the four odd numbers. So in this way you have to find out the even numbers and the odd numbers. So students today up to this much. Now the work you have to do in your book. In maths book. Exercise 8a. Nine. Number nine you will do in maths book only. Clear? And in maths copy. In maths classwork copy. That is 10, A and B. This you will do in maths classwork copy. So, today up to this much students, you have to remember the odd and even numbers. Even numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. The even numbers always end with an even digit in one's place and the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Odd numbers always end with an odd digit in one's place. These two things you have to remember while finding out odd and even numbers. So in our next class we will also continue with this. Till then, Namshiva students.